How we doing everybody? Welcome back to Dagwood Z's Tonsorium. I'm Dagwood Z with the Shaving Cadre. Today we're going to be using a Fine Santal Absolute. So, no special shave today. Um, did get some mail in, but not enough time to do uh, a full review. I just got it in yesterday, so I'm not going to use it once and give it a review. Um, that'll be Saturday. So we will have a review on this this coming Saturday. Uh, but today, we're just going to be using the soap I've kind of been hankering to try, uh, the Santal Absolute, Santal Absolute. Uh, so Fine is out of Pennsylvania. Uh, they uh, I believe their soaps are actually made in the Netherlands, and it's modeled after the same formula that Tabac uses. However, they have a variety of scents, anything from uh, American Blend, which is uh, modeled after Riva Gauch from uh, Yves Saint Laurent. Um, to find platinum, which is Creed Aventus, and uh, lavender porone, which is Czech and Speak Oxford and Cambridge, um, as well as this Santal Absolute, which is modeled after the old AOS sandalwood. So I went ahead, and this comes in a hard puck, at least when I bought it, it did. They do come in tubs now. Um, I went ahead and I milled it down and put it into an old Tops container. Um, and <clears throat> it's a harder soap, it is a full puck. Uh, it has the same consistency, consistency as tabac. Um, I've always had good luck with the lathers. Um, strength of scent off of the puck is a good three and a half to four out of five, uh, strong. Um, it's going to remain that way throughout the, uh, throughout the shave. Um, so, what we're going to be using today for the shave is we're going to be using the largest blade I have in my den, which is a Philharmonica uh, Double Temple 14. Uh, this is an 8 8 blade. And this is a first generation Philly, so it's a JMP. And then for the lather maker, we're going to be using our Paladin Manic Depression. This is a 28 millimeter in the El Dorado shape. All right. Let's get right into it. I really do enjoy this scent. Um, it's probably one of the few sandalwoods that I actually do enjoy quite a bit. Um, now when I say that, I'm talking pure sandalwoods. Uh, this very much is a pure sandalwood scent. Um, a lot of people consider it one of the best sandalwoods out there. Um, I happen to agree with that. So Fine is going to load up fairly quickly, especially for being a hard soap. Um, it is pretty easy to lather. Um, so, I'll just take a little excess, whatever excess we got in here out. And proceed to bowl lather. So the past couple days shaves have been really nice. Um, first day I did a uh, shave with the Holy Black and my Feather SS Canasori. Very nice shave. Lavender Creeper. It's not the best soap out there, but I'll tell you what, the, the total package, the experience that that you get with the Holy Black is top notch. Um, there's very few artisans out there that are giving the experience that they do. Um, and that's why the prices are so high. Um, you're paying for the experience. So Fines Lather, I've always had good luck with it. Some people, not so much. Um, I've always found it to be very, very slick. One of the slicker slopes out there. Um, cushion, depending on how you work the lather, uh, cushion can be sometimes a, uh, an issue. Um, it's not it's not going to be the uh, creamy, low density, low structure lather that you get from your Ariana and Evans or Icarus base from Decoration Grooming or even your Bison Tallow from Decoration Decoration Grooming. Um, there's going to be a little bit higher higher structure of a lather. Um, I would honestly put this just below like a Noble Otter. Uh, if I was going to rank it, um, Noble Otter I would put 
you know, Elite being a tier one, box one. Um, you know, if you figure tier two would be boxes two, three, and four, um, I would probably put this a uh, tier one. I don't know, maybe a box three. So right in the middle of tier one. Maybe a maybe a box four. I think we're about there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do my hot towel, and we'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. So like I said, this is a little bit more of an airy soap. It's not going to be that low structure, creamy leather. I would put it consistency wise. Um, cool whip. But you can definitely get some really good uh, <clears throat> volume and little slather. Got a decent sheen going on right now. Um, it can take a little bit more water. Uh, water band wise, it's acceptable. It's uh, middling. It's not horribly large, but it's not. It can take a little bit of water. So I've given a choice between this, since this is a clone of the AOS sandalwood. If given a choice between this and the old tallow base AOS sandalwood, I would choose this every time. reduction right there. Again, uh, This is the same recipe that the back uses, from what I understand. Um, I don't, I, I don't have any baseline for comparison because gasp, oh my gosh, goodness, I've never used tobacco. I've been close, almost pulled the trigger on it a couple times, just never have. few times I've smelled it, it just didn't seem like something I wanted to pick up. Those times being at Pasteur's. Wasn't up my alley scent wise. Powdery leather just doesn't do it for me.
<sighs> Decent first pass. I know I'm kind of doing some reviewy things, um, but nice talking. Uh, anybody that's been following the channel knows I'm a Newcastle United supporter. They won this past weekend. Have another game tonight against <coughs> Burnley. Be a tough game. It's a home match. Burnley's undefeated in 2019. And they're coming off a really good victory at, at Tottenham. Or at least against Tottenham. I'm not sure if that was home or away. Had a uh, good weekend, and they uh, at least a halfway decent start to the week. that Doc put on this is still killer. Yeah. As evidenced by the where the heck did that come from, Nick? Didn't feel it. <laughs> Lots of lather. Lather for days. Lather though, really is a nice lather. So, I definitely have my preferences, but at the same time, I really do my best to <coughs> not get too terribly comparative between soaps because every soap is different. don't try and compare soaps and appreciate them for what they're not. I try and appreciate them for what they are. Um, or at least I don't criticize them for what they're not. Artisan was not intending to make the soap with the property that I'm criticizing it for lacking. So 
i.e. he wanted to make a really cushioned soap and wasn't so concerned about slickness, me criticizing it for being not slick. Really isn't fair to the artisan. It's not fair to the soap maker at all. Because they accomplished what they set out to do. There's very few soaps that I don't enjoy using. Um, for any of you who followed my journal, Or this video log, this vlog, knows there are two soaps out there. And we're not talking scents. I just have no need for in my den. Um, and uh, even though I do have. Pluck up one of them. The other one I piffed away just recently. There we go. Very nice, very enjoyable shave. Great scent. I really enjoy the performance of fine soaps. Um, they're not in the same league as your top tier artisans. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. Um, I can get the slickness there. It loses the cushion uh, when I do that. Uh, kind of like my experience with Oleo. Um, I can get the slickness even better than fine, uh, but I do lose the cushion to a great degree. It almost breaks the soap to get the slickness where I need it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. Let's check the uh, check with the alum. I'm sure I'll get a little bit of feedback. Uh, I always do with this blade. Uh, it's a beast of a of a razor. Nothing there. Yeah, I was expecting a little bit right there. Didn't disappoint. bit in the normal places. A little bit right here, a little bit right there. That's normal. All in all though, really nothing I... <clears throat> a lot better than some of my more recent shaves have been, so I can't really complain about that. So, alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and clean up and we'll be right back for a uh, wrap up. See you in a second. Alright guys, all done. Had a really nice shave with Fines Santal absolute so uh, again it's not the top of the heap it's not the best soap out there I would put it about on par with sterling uh, plus or minus given the day um, just depends on how good a lather you're getting that day uh, but I would put it about on par with sterling uh, which means it's a good soap it's a very good soap uh, sterling is an excellent soap so the fact that it's it's on par with that just means it's it's another excellent soap that's available to you out there. Um, you can find them at fineaccoutrements.com or at most of the major online retailers. Um, I did follow it up with the Splash. Now this can be used. Um, it's strong enough to be used as a fragrance. Um, this will probably get most people anywhere in the vicinity of two to four hours longevity. Uh, sometimes longer. I know some people have claimed to get uh, close to eight hours worth of longevity off of it. Um, and of course, just like every fragrance, uh, it depends on your body chemistry. Sometimes you won't get uh, nearly as long. Uh, so uh, try it out, see how you, see how it works for you. Um, for the shave today, we used our Paladin uh, Manic Depression brush. It's 28 millimeter uh, El Dorado shape, and the Philharmonica 
Double Temple 14 JMP. This is an 8 8 razor. Extra hollow ground as Philharmonica Double Temples are wont to be. So, hope you guys enjoyed the shave today. Um, I certainly did. Uh, and uh, yeah, if you guys are interested in uh, learning, finding out more about wood shaving, if you're just finding me, check out the Shaving Cadre, www.theshavingcadre.com. We got a bunch of uh, member driven video videos going up. A lot of people are doing video logs. Uh, vlogs and uh, shave videos, shave of the days, uh, a lot of great journals that are going up, and uh, a lot of fun discussions that are happening. Uh, so stop on by, check it out, and uh, for all of my YouTube subscribers, I want to thank you very much. Um, and uh, yeah, I will see you guys on Saturday for the next shave. Peace.